Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 in Minecraft and today I'd like to continue with our interiors for our shops inside our beautiful shopping centre or shopping mall and I was thinking we might be done with the food shops but then I had a thought why not build an ice cream shop or an ice cream parlour so I thought if we put it next to the other food court shops so we've got our baristas or coffee shop over here and we've got our cake shop we've got our sandwiches pastries and pies shop and then we have a seating area right opposite this so over here by the back entrance to the mall I thought we would add our ice cream parlor or ice cream shop so if you count one two three and then you knock out two and then I should have one, two, three, four at this side. And then on the bottom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, let's start with the materials, white glazed terracotta. I'm going to use that for the floor. So if you don't like that pattern, you can substitute it for something else. Polished diorite, glass pane, that's the clear one, birch trapdoor, iron door, block of iron and item frames. I'm going to use a white banner, that's my personal choice to go with my white terracotta, and a brewing stand. So let's start by grabbing the white glazed terracotta and figuring out how to pop the pattern in oops, the floor. Let's think, how do we... Got to, got to figure out which way round the pattern goes before we start. So. How does that look? That might work. So we want to go there, turn, turn, turn. So depending on which colour you've chosen, make sure you get the pattern in the way that suits you and makes you feel happy with it. So one, two, one. Just going to try and figure out the pattern on the floor and fill that in. So it'll take you a few minutes to figure out your pattern and get it all set up properly. So you could just do them one block at a time, which is the easiest way to make sure you don't make any mistakes. Or you can try and do it the way I'm doing it, which is trying to do the whole floor quickly in one go. Um, it doesn't always work out right. You might and find that you have to go back and delete it all and start again. But let's see if we can do it like this without uh, messing it all up. So one, one, one. So always remember to do the, the turn between each block placement to get the orientation right for the pattern to just continue with itself. What are we doing? Right, so far we're doing okay. Right, so rotate again, which will be this one. Yes, right. So every second block in this way you should be filling in before you turn again. We're doing okay, we're not doing too bad at the moment. Got quite a few of the, uh, I think I might have missed one or two. Yes, I think I've missed one or two out. Uh, we'll have to come back and do those in just a second. I can figure out which orientation I've missed. That one needs to go there. Nearly done, I think. Oops. Right, so which one did I miss? Nope. So that's oh no, I've missed one or two, right? Which one is this? There we go, that's our floor completed. So let's go scoot up so that you can see the pattern. I kind of like that as a floor for a um, I like an ice cream parlor or something. It looks like it's one of those sort of easy clean type floors. I think we will remove those two to continue the pattern though. Um, that one, and then rotate. So that keeps the pattern all the way through to the door itself. So the next item that we will want to grab is the polished diorite. So this is going to be for the countertop area. So at the back we're going to want some fridges and a little bit of workspace. So I'm going to put a little bit of workspace over here. And I'm going to think about fridges. So if we have 
a maybe we could put in a chest over here and a couple of double fridges here so if I have three for the countertop and then we'll leave a gap of two for the staff to work in and then we'll need access for the staff space at the back so we'll leave a space and we'll come along here like so is that going to work? I think that's going to work quite nicely because that leaves us just a space for the door right here right so we want a double row for the counter space you'll see why I want a double row in just a minute and then on the front you're going to grab the glass pane and put that along the front like so and then just round the side there and there so that, that acts as a shield so people can't breathe on the food behind the counter which <laughs> sounds like an odd thing to do but it, it's a health and safety thing and then we want a trap door here which opens and closes so that the staff can have access to behind the counter the next thing we want to do is grab the block of iron because we're going to put in some fridges so what i want to do is put two high fridges so two blocks high and i want actually do you know what i'm going to put put them separately so that they look like separate fridges so I've put two there and a gap of two there and two there and then what I want to do is grab the iron door and very carefully try and pop this in front of the fridge so it looks like we've actually got doors on there come to the front we have to check no that one's not in the right place so we want the handles to look like they're on the center so that it opens out and there we go we've got it so we've got the hinges on the outside edge and the handles on the middle edge so that, that actually worked out okay Now if we remove this centre section, because that's actually not going to work the way I've put it in. <laughs> right, grab some item frames. We're going to want to put these above the fridge spaces along the wall here. I'm going to put them on every other one. And we will add stuff later. And then the white banners, I'm going to put one at the side there and there and then I'm going to also put them above here now what row have I put them on is that is that too high or is that good I think we'll put them up there like that along those walls there beautiful and then the final item that we've got currently on the action bars is the brewing stand. Now I'm going to put one of those right in the corner over here and we're going to pretend that that's the sauce dispenser. So if you want a chocolate sauce or caramel syrup or something on your, or raspberry ripple or something on top of your ice creams, you would uh, use that machine as the dispenser for it. And now we want to clear our action bar and start again so we will want um, a chest and then we will want some wool because the wool will be acting as the ice cream so if you think about what colors you might want so we'll want a vanilla which I think should be more yellow than white but you could have white if you really wanted to and then I've always loved a good strawberry but that's usually pink and of course you have to have chocolate don't you because chocolate and then we'll need mint I think we'll go for the darker green though for the mint what do you think I think I kind of like that idea and then we want some sort of berry so how about we go for uh, a black black currant tea or a, something and maybe a blueberry depends how many spaces I've got I can't remember exactly how many spaces we've got so we definitely want to put in our vanilla because the vanilla is going to be very very popular lots of people love vanilla and strawberry and chocolate I think they're always going to be your staples that everybody's going to want and then we'll have the mint 
and the berry and the blueberry and that fits beautifully now what I should have kept was the trapdoor right so here in this gap here we're going to put the double chest so we've got lots of storage space not lots of space for the staff to work but um, that's just the space that we've got so on the back side of here you can use something like the birch trapdoor you see and then you can cover up well you mm, actually that's not going to work is it because um, the doors on the front of the fridges will mean that there isn't enough space to do that and um, if I'd have made it slightly bigger you could have done that along the back uh, but because of the dimensions of the shops that I've got you can't actually cover that back side up there like that like maybe I would have preferred to do so if you had a bigger shop space to work with you could use the trapdoors at the back of the cabinet all the way along so that it would give you a covering for where the ice cream is but because of the size of the shop that I've got I just don't quite have enough space to do that um, because of what I want to do over this other side here so if we grab some of the birch wood I'd like to grab the chairs and the flat bench uh, not the flat bench the half slab so we've got birch stairs and birch slab and I'd like to make some little um, booths for sitting in so if we start by the window and we go one two three and then we leave a gap and we go one two three and then reverse and go one two three leave a gap and go one two three and reverse again and go one two three and reverse again and go one two three and then you can see exactly what's coming you grab the birch slab to make a table and you go one two three one two three and one two three and then you've got lots of seating space for people to come in and eat your ice creams in your ice cream parlor and you've got your counter space and your staff space over here and then you've got space for the door a double door will give people lots of access in and out here and then we will want to grab the sandstone and we will also want to grab some more glass and then we're going to fill in this front space so what we're going to do is grab the sandstone and you're going to want to come up to the roof here and here at the sides of where the door space is going to be so just come straight up there like so I'm going to run across one there and there and then I'm going to run up the side there and up the side here and then in the gaps we're going to just put in the glass that way you can see into the shop to see what they're selling and to see the people enjoying eating the product and then here we have to decide how we're going to do the door so I think what I would like to do is use the sandstone across at I'm going to leave a three tall gap for people to walk in so it's nice and open and then above that I'm going to fill it in with the glass like so so if I pull back a little bit see if we can give you a vision of what I've done so that's what we've got at the front of the shop for people to come in and then inside where we've got the little frames you just want to put in some of the colors of ice cream so that people can 
think about what they want. So what these would really be would be pictures of the different types of ice cream. So you could have one scoop or two scoops or maybe you could have a sundae or a, a fancy syrup and cream and ice cream concoction in a big fancy glass or something. And those would be the types of things that you would be able to purchase to sit here and eat your ice creams. And that is my ice cream shop or ice cream parlour to go as a shop interior for inside our shopping mall. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!